First thing I want to talk about is academics, because it's the most important thing there is. All right, I'm going to give you the first stat. There are three, how many of the class of 2016 seniors right now? Is there any seniors in here? All right, perfect. 300,000 seniors right now in the United States of America. There's 500,000 international football players. So there's 125,000 international seniors. That's 425,000 seniors that play football, or just play football. There's 15,000 spots. 425,000 for 15,000 spots. All right, so competitive. They all want to be in those 15,000 spots, but not everyone can do it, obviously. So there's a way that it gets chiseled out. There's a way that this gets narrowed down. Start with academics. I'm going to go back a little when I was an athlete. So I thought I was pretty good. So all state in football, all league in basketball, two years, uh, captain, that whole deal. And I had two scholarship offers. The rest was D3 and walk-on. Two. There's 940 schools in the United States of America that play football. Okay? So... At the end of the day, my academics probably screwed a lot of it up. Here's what I'm going to tell you about it. It's very simple. All right? A C is average. And at the process, we're going to tell you this. Don't be average. Who wants to be average? There are parents in here that have jobs that are not all owners of their own companies. And, and they, have to, they have to answer to other people that don't want them to be average well, you can't be average either. An average is a C. So what we're going to preach is a 3.0. That's a B. We're going to preach above, because if I had a B, I probably would have had four times. I didn't have a B. I had like a 2.7. But you would have, I would have had four times the amount of scholarships I would have had had I done better in my GPA and my test score. Because those are the two things that admissions are going to look at. There's a bunch of different things they're going to look at, but those are the two main things. So if you have a 3.0 and you have a 20 or more in the ACT, and I, I talk ACT because I've been down south so much, but it's probably about an average of 1,000 of the, on the SAT, okay? And if you can reach those goals and then take it and go higher, then recruiting isn't going to control you. You, recru you control recruiting because that's what we're talking about. We don't want this process. This is why we're doing what we're doing. This process can control you if you only have four, four decisions or four choices, okay? So what we're trying to do is trying to maximize your choices. I'm going to go to another stat. With those 425,000 kids worldwide that are looking for scholarships that narrows down to 15,000, only 258 of them get drafted in the NFL draft. So it goes from 425,000 to 258. Are the chances any good? No, they're not. It doesn't mean you can't make it. You know, the corner from the Patriots that picked off the pass, give me a name. Huh? All right. Went to junior college and then went 1AA. Patriots do a great job of evaluating. I'll talk about that later. But they do a great job of evaluating. Uh, uh, who, uh, Woodhead, all right, from the Patriots, Division II National Player of the Year. He played college football in, like, Minnesota. Player of the year, Division II, got a walk-on trial, didn't get drafted with the Jets, lasted to the last pick. The Patriots picked him up, and he ends up playing for the Patriots for three or four years and signs a $20 million contract with the San Diego Chargers. But at the end of the day, he went Division II, and he got his degree, and then it worked out for him. All right, so what I'm here to teach you about is everything you're doing right now, has nothing to do with the NFL. It's got to do with you getting the best degree you can and then what that degree is worth. When you get out of college, how much can you make the first year with that degree? So we're going to try to get you choices. And then these choices, what you should be talking about, can you get me to the league? You're only going to get you to the league. If you're that good, they're going to find you. Bill Belichick will find you. But I'm going to tell you this. Get the degree. 
And then if other things work out and you mature and you get where you're supposed to be, they'll find you. And if not, the best degree you can have. Now, it goes back to having a high ACT and SAT and a high grade point average. And then you get options. And then you can figure out what you want to major in, find the best school that has football, and then continue your career.